Have you ever wanted to lick your cat? Now you can without the fur balls. What? I've known a scam or two in my day, but today we're taking a look at Kickstarter scams to see exactly how real they are or if they're a complete waste of money. I like how I started the video by calling them scams preemptively. That's why I expect everything is a scam today, but we're gonna find out. Oh my God. Licky brush, lick your cat like a cat. I'll tell you what, this is not the next big thing. What's wrong with it? Lick your cat like a cat is never a phrase I ever want to come out of my mouth again. <laughs> what? Okay. What's wrong? You've never wanted to lick your cat? Okay, Cats? now that I've said it, it yeah. does sound very- Yeah. <laughs> ah. I'm not, I'm not okay. I've, I've looked too many cats this morning. No, nope, that sounds uh, even worse. Austin. That sounds even worse. What are you worse. doing to your cat? No, no, okay. Mm. As a human, you're left out of the intimate licking ritual. Bro. <laughs> I hate this. Invite your friends and their cats over for a licky party. Dude, no. This is not a real. If anyone invites me to a licky party, I'm blocking them. <laughs> I'm actually gonna say, this is not a scam. There's all kinds of weird pet toys. I actually think this is a real product that was successfully funded. I don't know if it's gonna be super popular, but I don't think it's a straight scam. Oh, good. So much bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> what kind of tongue is this? Lick so, your cat! This item was funded by 2,000 backers and raised $52,000 and is now readily available on Amazon. So this is, okay, so this is a real product. So can we say this is not a scam then? This is not a scam, it is real. So I get a point for this, but I don't know if I want the point for this. Oh no, wait. Gently grasp Licky's bite portion with your teeth. Did you not realize that? I thought you were supposed, like it was a fa- You put this in your mouth. You need to like actually lick your cat with it. I've done a lot of things for videos. This is gonna be up there for one of the most gifable things that I regret doing. I'm definitely gonna be on like a list now. <laughs> how, you, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel degraded and like it less of a human. It was kind of soothing, but I think it's just because I get to see uh. you so emasculated. Here, here. I don't like watching it. <laughs> I'm disturbed on every possible level with this. I'm happy that this was not a scam, that I was correct. I'm not happy that this exists in the world. Um, boy, this this is gonna be a video, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, too much Jared licking. Oh God, oh, that was the no! Why would you say that? <laughs> no, part. There's no good part of this item. I hate everything I'm doing right now. Elevation dock, the best dock for iPhone. This seems familiar. I actually kind of remember this. This was like 2010, 2011. This was like one of the early Kickstarters, right? The dock Apple should have made in the first place. It's exquisitely milled from solid Apple-esque aluminum, AKA aluminum. Oh God. This doesn't seem impressive by today's standards. But back in the day, uh, these iPod docks were really annoying. Like it was legitimately like you would have to put a hand on the thing and like rip it out. Like it was a whole thing. Very confident this is not a scam. I do kind of remember the Elevation dock. I never had one because I wasn't a weirdo who was obsessed with docks. <laughs> I gotta stop saying the word docks, man. This <laughs> <laughs> is so sauce. Hey, all right. So. Oh, this, you got a new one, the Dock 5 for iPhone with Lightning. This was, as you said, a very early Kickstarter product. It raised $1.5 million from 12,500 backers. That's a lot of docks. Yeah, it is. The uh, copyright date on this one is 2020, so this is clearly still a successful product. I got the point for that one, right? You got the point. Let's go, all right. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Obviously, in 2022, I think most people for a wireless dock or even something like MagSafe. But there's some cool stuff here. So if I connect my phone here and then I can adjust the back plate so I can pull the phone forward and I can adjust where the actual lightning port is. So you can basically raise or lower the lightning or you can raise or lower your phone. Their biggest claim to fame for it is that it's one-handed. You should not have to hold a finger on the dock or anything. Whoa. You should be able to just lift your phone up and it comes right off the port. Okay, okay, so let's actually try this. So I'm gonna just use one hand to Time. <clears throat> Take one hand. <laughs> Firmly grasp it! <laughs> All right, and then I want to drop it in. I pick it up. No, okay. Let's Originally, it launched for $60. Luckily, they've lowered the price down to $40. 40 bucks on this? I don't know, man. I, I'm happy that this is a real product. I'm happy that I got the point for this one. I don't think I can tell anyone to go buy an elevation dock now. This just feels like it's a step behind for most people. Man, I'm feeling good right now. Oh, what the f Volterman, the world's most powerful wallet. It's a wallet with a built-in power bank, distance alarm, global GPS tracking, worldwide hotspot, and anti-thief 
camera? I want a camera and GPS tracker in my wallet and my pants all the time? Get out! That is the dumbest idea you've ever had, and you have had some doozy! Highly sus! They're trying to explain what it is, and they just say the words anti-thief camera instead of actually showing you a photo of the camera. That's not suspicious. They do the same thing here. Global GPS tracking. Like, they just have photos or, like, slides of it. This is scam written up, down, left, right, and center. So this one's a little interesting. It seems interesting. I don't have a product to give you. You see, this product, when it originally launched on uh, Indiegogo, raised almost $3 million a lot of money. for 19,000 backers. A lot of people. And it seems like some people did get their wallet. And when I went to buy it, they took my money, all $200 worth. $200? $200. Okay. They said shipping time was from seven to 20 days. Okay. It has now been 23 days and I've not received the product. I did reach out to them via email to see what happened. And I basically got, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Just give us some time. We'll eventually get it to you. Almost nobody has actually gotten it. Anybody who actually has gotten it says it's pretty crap. I under no circumstance would give this company my money. I'm gonna think I'm a winner or a loser because you threw away $200, but I was right that it was a scam. Is my pride worth $200, Jared? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, what is this? If you ask them what does it mean to be confident, they might just say that I don't give a damn. But let me tell you exactly what it means to be confident. Sometimes being confident means being prepared with my weekender bag, making sure that I have everything I need. Sometimes being confident is getting comfortable with the fact that Bespoke Post gets over 90% of their items from local businesses like these moccasins. Being confident also means not having to settle. Not only can you choose to preview your box, but you can also swap it out for a different box or skip a month entirely. Being confident is making your own coffee on top of a mountain, giving me plenty of energy to answer the question of what does it mean to be confident? The answer is to give a damn. And I give a damn! So if you give a damn, definitely be sure to go check out the link in the description where you can get yourself 20% off your first Bespoke Post box. All you need to do is head over to bespokepost.com slash evans20 and use the promo code evans20 at checkout. It's, uh, Jared, the... <clears throat> and thank you to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Next, we have the Genki Covert Dock for the Nintendo Switch. Genki definitely make a lot of Switch-related products. Not to be confused with Genki, the high-quality overclock production made by our one and only Ken Belito. So the idea here is that your charger for the Switch can also have like an HDMI out and everything. Brilliant idea if they can actually pull it off. So they do talk a lot about GAN. These are very powerful small chargers. I'm a big fan of these. I pretty much have swapped out all of the chargers in my life with GAN chargers. And one of the nice things about this is that theoretically with this product, it will shrink the actual charger down so it's small and then the rest of the actual charging brick can have your HDMI and all your other circuitry to make this thing actually work. They say it's one tenth the size of the original dock. This is a great idea. I hope that this product is a real functioning thing that you can purchase. This company has a track record of cool accessories. I'm gonna say, not a scam. Woo, okay, so at least it made it to the point in which I can actually have it in my hand. This is legit. It became very successful. In fact, the Kickstarter was so successful, it raised almost $1.8 million. Oh my God, From 26,400 wow. backers. How much is this? So this is now only $75. So expensive for a charger, not really expensive compared to a switch dock. Wow, that actually is really small. So this is everything you need. So you got the fold out prongs here, so you plug it in. And then on the back, you've got your USB-C, which connects to your switch, delivers power, data, all that kind of stuff. You've got a USB-A port, which will function for accessories. And you got the HDMI, which is gonna give you that full 1080p out. This seems like pretty much the perfect kind of switch dock. Why are you quiet? Well, we have to make sure it doesn't fry a switch. Does this actually fire switches? So I have a Nintendo Switch here. However, it is super duper dead and needs a few minutes to charge. So while we let that charge, I'm gonna try this with the iPad. Okay, so I'm charging, oh, it, instantly. That's it, it's just that simple. HDMI works, audio works. Yo, this is actually really cool. You can see if I just go and unplug it here. So we've got the iPad connected via USB-C, HDMI out going. Whoa, what? Excuse me? What? 
It works without being plugged in? That's so amazing, actually. This thing is running on power. The iPad is powering the charger. That's so cool. What? So it just functions like a regular USB-C hub now. So maybe it wouldn't work with the Switch, but theoretically with other devices, you could just use this like a hub. I just definitely did not think that was gonna work. I just I unplugged it to show it. Wait, so if I plug it in. I think it's probably gonna flicker because it, it restarts, obviously. Oh no, it just, I bet it just starts charging. Dude, that is this actually just, the coolest. This just went from cool to awesome. This is my favorite product of this video. This is gonna stay in my bag now. This is gonna be my USB-C charger. So now the uh, switch is actually charged up enough to actually turn on. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna unplug the iPad. And then if I plug this into the switch, theoretically it just works. Hey! Okay. I'm sold. This Genki Covert Dock not only is not a scam, one of the coolest products I've taken a look at in a long time. This thing is absolutely rad. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Transform your iPod Nano into the world's coolest multi touch watches with TikTok Lunatic. Okay. I know this one, I remember this one. So there was an iPod Nano that was a little square and it was basically the Apple Watch before the actual Apple Watch. And with this, you can essentially drop it into the band and use it. I may have actually tried one of these like seven or eight years ago. It's been a long time. All right, I'm just gonna 100% say with no shadow of a doubt, this was a successful Kickstarter, it exists. And while it might not be successful today, it was absolutely a real non-scam product. What do you know? You'd be right. Yay! The Lunatic Multi-Touch Watch Band for the iPod Nano 6th generation. I want this to go with it. Oh, you got it! Yes! Oh, dude, I haven't tried one of these in so long. You can see it's actually pretty equivalent. It's a little bit bigger than an Apple Watch, but not by a huge amount. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Mind you, that screen looks absolutely terrible compared to an Apple Watch. I knew a guy in middle school that had one of these, and he was the hottest Ooh. around. Jared, stop reminding me that you're a... Child. Okay, look, that's not the point of my story. I was making, <laughs> you say middle school, I was like five years into my YouTube career at that point. <laughs> I'm so ready to say he's embarrassed. Get me out of this, he's get me embarrassed. out of this. I licked you don't earlier. Don't say that And sentence. you were less embarrassed than I you are now. I don't want to know how my boss licked me. I don't know how to explain that to my mother. What happened there? Ew. I believe it's just complete in box, but used. but the fact that it has everything that you would have gotten originally, why would you sniff that? So you do actually have to do a little bit of work on it because you actually have to open up the, the little band. That's looking like a watch to me. All right, and you can see now I have what seems to be an Apple Watch. So I have some watch faces, which I can change. Yo, okay, you know what? They 100% knew. They made this as a test for the Apple Watch. Are you sure you're qualified to run the audio on this video? Next item, Whipper, a portable multi-sport training machine. Whipper is a three-in-one stand-up paddle, cross-country ski, and rowing machine specifically designed for your lifestyle. They said that they charge between two to $400, which, I mean, seems about right for a lot of workout stuff. Some stuff is super expensive. I'm really torn. I can go 50-50 on this one. It could work. They may have made some, but did they actually ship it in volume? Is this a real item? I'm gonna lock it in. It's a scam, and that looks, well, that looks like it weighs 5.42 kilos. It's a real item. Um, Jared, was this a scam? It was not a scam. Ah, I actually. <laughs> no! Oh, okay. Now, Now, to be fair, to be fair, how much did it say it was on the original Kickstarter? Two to $400. Just the base unit was 650. So Pretty scammy to me, I don't know. <laughs> when I first saw it, I was like, there's no way this shipped. And I was shocked to see that it was readily available online. It launched and received 9,100 backers. Okay. And $3.5 million. That's a lot of money. If you wanted to get every accessory and enough base units to do every workout, it'd be $1,300. I only got one accessory for this and it's because I thought it'd be the most fun. This is the paddling accessory. I hate paddling. I suck at paddling. It needs three AA batteries. Please tell me to include three AA batteries for $650. It does not. Do you want to get better? No, I'm, I'm upset right now. That paddle accessory was $144. Why? Jared, you, you greenlit this? Uh, no, the people on Kickstarter did. The only way this works, as if I am swole by the end of this video. I will give them a little bit of credit, even though $650 is egregious. This kind of stuff is not cheap, right? And a lot of workout gear can be very expensive, especially something like this, which to be fair, I've never seen like anything like this that actually is like you can put in your home. So now I need to figure out how you actually mount it. So this thing on the front, 
So you see this, uh, like the back panel? So when you take it out, it's empty. When I start using this, it pumps it up. So basically you put this underneath the door and it expands until it sort of holds itself in place. And then you press the top thing and it deflates. All right, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, we are on and active. Select the desired sport mode. I'll do five, I don't know, say five minutes of rowing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this, okay, so. Oh, well, actually that's a real thing. This actually works. I will say it actually is staying underneath the table pretty well. I've got it cranked to 10, and I would say the resistance is actually pretty high. All right, let me try to stand. This is actually not a terrible workout. 100 watts, let's go! I can power a low-end gaming PC right now! Was I wrong about this product? Yes. I'm out of breath. Shut up, Jared.